This is a video tutorial on how I integrate the use of Zara Extreme Pro along with Toon Boom Studio. This is a character that I recently did for an animation that I produced for Christmas. You can see the character as I've created him and put him together. These are the different mouth shapes for Toon Boom Studio. I'm going to show you the wireframe so you can kind of see the construction of the character. Notice how on the arms they have a little rounded end and on both sides so that when you manipulate the character you can have them uh, bend at the joints without uh, showing any hard edges. Let's see, I'm going to select this fore part of his arm and this is the first selection. I'm going, to, I'm going to tap it one more time. You see the rotation point? I'm going to put the rotation point approximately where I would want it to be. Let me just zoom in. Okay, let's click on that again. So we get it pretty much right where we want it. It doesn't have to be exact, but this is a way that you can test out your joints to make sure that they're going to uh, function properly and make any adjustments that you want to make later on. Uh, these here are going to be for his his eyes when they blink. It'll just cover up. You can also test out, I'm going to select the head, click it again, put the rotation point down there. I, I find that Zara Extreme, there is the drawing tools. Not only am I personally more familiar with them than I am in Toon Boom Studio, which has its own drawing tools, but uh, I think that they are more sophisticated than you will find in Toon Boom Studio. Another thing that you can do in Zara is, uh, let's change this to a graduated tone, making it darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. That is a linear fill, as you can see. Now on his face, let's click there, you see it's a circular fill, and the circular fill has the starting color, which is a flesh tone, and that flesh tone is duplicated there, and then there's a darker, see a darker, for just the outside edge to give a little bit more color and definition. Now all these linear fills, this is a linear fill on his hair. It goes from a darker orange at the bottom to a lighter orange at the top. All of those things will go straight into Toon Boom Studio. In other words, um, as you see it here will be just the way it comes out into Toon Boom Studio identically. And I just find that it's so much easier for me to make my characters and build them and construct them in Zara Extreme and get them exactly how I want them and then I put them into Toon Boom Studio. Now the way that I put them into Toon Boom Studio is very simple. Uh, let me just save this. Is I go over here and I go to Export. And the way I want to export that as I want to export it as a PDF. I'm going to call this boy. I'm going to export that. Now there's a, a lot of different presets that you can do. Normally I would select high quality, this one here. And the only reason that I have it on custom is that when you select high quality and you say export it makes a PDF of the file and it opens it up in Adobe Acrobat uh, which is fine but I really don't want it to do that I want to skip that step so I have it on custom and you can see here that when it is done the view PDF when finished is not checked so I say export and it has exported it boy PDF. Okay.
Okay, here we are in Toon Boom Studio. Uh, the, what I want to do here is I want to import the file. I'm going to look for it here. For that file, boy PDF. Now it has this Illustrator import options, preserve. I've tried this checked or unchecked. It doesn't really do anything. And there is my character. It's called Boy PDF, and it's on its own layer. I can zoom in. And as you can see, you see that graduated tone that was on the face? That's there. The graduated tone that was on the shirt? That's there. Here, I'm right now I'm in camera view. I'm going to go to drawing view. And it gives you this little grid so you can see how everything is. But it's all, you know, everything is an individual object. Uh, let me just take it over here and you can see too, I can change it to contour. You see the nodes, one, two, three, four? That was, those were the same exact nodes that were in Zara Extreme. It doesn't add any nodes, it doesn't subtract them, it keeps them all the same. Zoom in here. Let's put them back together again. Select tool. I'm going to take the whole character and I'm going to put him pretty much in the very center here. Like that. Let's go in even a little bit closer. We can get rid of the grid if we want. That's just there as a reference point. So now what I need to do is I need to break him up into individual pieces. And let's say there would be the head, the mouth, the eyes, the eyebrows, torso, trunk, and the legs. So there's going to be one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen by my estimates. So I'm going to go here to add a new element. I'm going to call this boy, and I want to add seventeen elements. Bingo. You have all these different elements. 